Welcome everyone to the Beauty and Joy Computing. Woo! My name is Dan Garcia. Whoop! And I'll be your instructor. I'll be the person who has designed this class and recorded the videos for you. It's going to be a ton of fun, but a ton of work. And so I really want to set expectations correctly that this is going to be probably the most pain your brain has had in terms of stretching it to new dimensions, but you're also going to learn a ton about computer science, and you're also going to learn about how computer science and computing affects the world. So it's really a wonderful, impactful course in terms of connecting computing to other disciplines. Um, we have a set of videos, if you're interested in watching, that will drive, that are testimonials from other students that can help give a sense of what this course has meant to them. So please do take a chance to look at those videos if you get a chance to do that. So we always do a computing in the news, and we'll have that throughout the course, but the computing in the news for today is we are delighted to have been chosen by the National Science Foundation to bring this course to New York City. And New York City is one of the most diverse school systems in the country, and we're really excited about this course and 100 new teachers learning it and actually engaging with it. And so this is just an exciting partnership we're working with the New York City School of Education, uh, Department of Education, to connect with them. So just really, really exciting. And there's a little logo, BJC Loves New York. So that's just computing the news is the connection of our, our, our work with the folks in New York. We are an APCS principles course. And what that means is there's a new course that is meant for all students in high school, not just those who think computer science is in their path, but everybody. And it's called Computer Science Principles. And Beauty and Joy Computing was one of the first national pilots for this. CS Principles is based on seven, a foundation of seven big ideas. The big ideas are creativity, abstraction, data, algorithms, programming, the internet, and global impact. And those seven big ideas, you see them listed here, those seven big ideas kind of are the anchor for the learning modules and the learning th uh, goals that we're going to have, the essential knowledge statements that we're going to have that drive the curriculum framework and drive the learning you're going to have. So those things you're going to be seeing in almost everything you do in this class. But we also have six computational thinking practices. And these practices are the things you're going to be doing in the class. And they range from connecting computing to other disciplines, creating artifacts. You're going to be building artifacts. You're going to be coding and building things that didn't exist before, which is amazing. We're talking about abstraction. The next video is actually about abstraction. So we're talking about how to abstract in your daily life. Analyzing problems and artifacts. How, how do you have a critical lens on things that may be built by you, maybe built by others? Communicating your results, communicating your things to others, the output of your work to others, and collaborating. So those six computational thinking practices are the practices that anchor this course. In one slide, we're going to do a ton of things. I mean, we're really going to do a ton of things in this course, and it's almost exhausting to think about all the things you're going to learn in the next four MOOClets. These, this course is broken into four different MOOClets. This is MOOClet number one. So the big ideas of programming we list here, abstraction, algorithms, you saw those as part of it, but this is our, our take, our lens on the seven fundamental big ideas from CS Principles. This is the beauty and joy computing take on it. Um, you're going to learn some really powerful ideas in programming, like recursion and functions as data. You're going to learn about programming paradigms and what that means to have a different method of how you interact with your programming language. And we're going to see how cl cloud computing and, and Moore's Law are the anchor behind much of your cell phone and all the exciting things that you can do with your po per portable mobile devices nowadays. The reason this is beauty and joy is you should have a lot of fun. This course should be a ton of fun for you. You should say, Man, I just learned something that was really hard, but it was fun, wow! That should happen every day. So the goal of this course is really fun, and we call it Beauty and Joy because of that. So the reason it's beautiful and joyful, you'll see some artifacts that just inspire you. And wow, I want to be able to make that myself. Flowers and trees and fractals and some beautiful output, as well as interactive games and interactive simulations as well. You're going to have a face-to-face -face time, so that means there might be some time for you to be interacting with us uh, using either video conferencing techniques or, or other models that will allow you to not just feel alone. So you may be working in a basement very, very far away from anybody else, and that's, if that's possible, if that's the case, then we're going to try to have some opportunities for you to connect with somebody else, at least face-to-face, -to, -face, to do that. You're going to have two performance tasks. Those are going to be the things you do between the MOOClets. Remember I said there were four different MOOClets? You do these, these projects between them. One of, two of them come from the CS Principles project, and they are the Create Performance Task and the Explore Performance Task. In the Create Performance Task, you're going to write some code and do some amazing stuff, uh, as well as work with a partner for that. That's why I say there's some face-to-face -face time you might have. 
There's also the Explore Performance Task, where you do some research on an innovation, a computing innovation that's changed the world, and you get to talk about that and write about that. And both of those are of your own choice. So the beauty and joy is, is really of your choice. Whatever you're interested in, you can be able to create and do work in those interests. We can also share some big ideas of computing, and those big ideas are daily computing in the news. We're going to hope to have that. How the internet works, that's again part of the big ideas. Research summaries of these two powerful research ideas, research areas, artificial intelligence and human-computer interaction. The power of data, that's one also of the big ideas you saw that. Social implications of computing. Saving the world with computing is an awesome lecture at the end of the year. Has Kathy, Professor Kathy Yellick is going to share how we've saved the world with computing. Again, cloud computing as well, limits and future of computing, and robots. If you have access to um, uh, a Finch robot, it's about $100. If you have access to that in your school, or perhaps you can buy it yourself, then you can, there are some exercises that let you work with the robots, which is really exciting. And finally, we have an amazing, how you actually do the coding is a really important part of the course. The course isn't just a programming course. There's so many other things you're going to see, but you are going to do a fair amount of programming in this awesome language called SNAP. And SNAP is a visual graphical language. We're going to have a lot of demos to, to show you how that works. But you'll be, you program by dragging the blocks together, uh, and you, you form the code that you see here. And this code generates this beautiful Mandelbrot curve. So I did this uh, last summer. It's just a great example of some of the wonderful, beautiful output you can get and the easy to use uh, model of programming that we use is with SNAP as the graphical model. So we're really excited about this course, we're really excited to have you part of us, part of our student cohort, and we hope you have a wonderful time. We'll see you at the next video.